In this episode of Coach's Eye, we are getting hands-on, and we're getting hands-on with Baron Mamiya. So we've um, we've had a few requests come through to do a coach's eye on Baron Mamiya. So we're going to dive into this is just one way of a Baron Mamiya. We we came across it on YouTube, and it's a it's a really 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 cool breakdown. So he's surfing backhand on it, and as we were watching it, Clayton was able to predict everything that Baron was going to do purely by the way that he was he was moving his hands. Uh, or mainly his hands, but obviously his entire body. So we're going we're to jump into that, that video. But so, and a lot of people surf like they've got their hands in their pockets. Their hands are just down and the back kind of droops. And then when it comes time to the turn, they just like starfish and flop. Yeah. So I, I get kind of a bit irritated with them because yeah. you almost don't see the potential in the person's body for the move that they want to do. Mm. And then they go from zero to like 100% and they almost over push and they blow the turn. Yeah. So, so we'll bring the iPad up. Now, I, I know that obviously in having seen Clay coach so many people, a lot of emphasis, Clay puts a lot of emphasis on what we're doing with our hands. And now this is not about doing a lot with our hands, but it being very deliberate in the actions that we, that we take with our hands, even to the point where there are some really old clips that you did where you gaffer taped your hands to a surfboard. Like that's how important and integral our hands are with, to our surfing. I was, I remember being early 20s, I was shaping boards and I had this brand new board that I had in the water and I always kind of pushed the board to see out planes. Like I want to see it plane really nicely. And then a little wave, a swell came through and I put my hands on it and I tried to turn and I got stuck. Then I rolled the board on the rail and I turned it and the board just released and the tail came out. Mm. And then I was like, whoa, I bent my wrist back and I pushed and the board released. So I was like, geez, all right, let me catch a wave. And then I, I remembered, okay, roll the wrist, push. And I was like, what? It was insane. Like this realization of how to do a turn using the hands and yeah. how it flows into the feet. And then I've been doing it ever since. Cool. So let's bring up the iPad and let's have a look at this wave that we found on YouTube. So here we go. Okay. There is, do you want to play it? So yeah, it, it, just so it actually plays in first. slow motion. This is not us playing it in slow motion. The clip that we found is actually in slow motion. Love the little knee tuck on the way down. That means a lot of front foot pressure. Um, so we'll play it through and then we will, we'll, we'll track back and then, and then we'll highlight out some of the takeaways uh, that, that you'll be able to take and then hopefully apply to your to your surfing. Or at least oh. give it a go anyway. Look at that. Did you see how that back foot came off the board? His feet move around so much. It's ridiculous. I'm interested. Let's see what the back foot does. Um, maybe you can see it over here. And hands on and feet on. See, see he's on his toe yeah. edge on yeah. that. So like the it's right rolled over. He's on yeah. that, that, that sort of bony bit on the side so, of your so big toe. So right now, he's going to be like super on the heel. Watch what the feet do here. This is interesting as well. I honestly thought he was going to fall at this point when we, when we very first watched the clip, and then he's, he's stayed on. See him readjust his feet? Mm. That was nuts. That clip's just bonkers. And even this last turn, check out that. What? It's just throwing buckets. That was amazing. Okay. So let's let's go back through and let's get uh, let's get like one or two things that. Uh, Is that the same wave? No, it's a different wave. Let's go back. Yeah, let's go back. And let's yeah, let's find one or two things that we can take away and then put into our surfing next time we go surfing so that uh, so we can catch a wave and do exactly this. <laughs> I think I'm a long way off of getting exactly to this point. All right. So a lot of this stems from the paddling. So pretty much when he paddles in, look at the glide. It's one stroke. There's the glide. So Oreo biscuit. He's taking his time. He doesn't pop up and just get going. Mm. 
The other thing that he does well too is he utilizes the wave to get speed. So you'll notice that when he takes off, he goes, he kisses that, that knee. knee. That, that, okay. That, that knee is so for me, it's almost like a sprinter about to start a race yeah. in the starting block. So now the thing is, when you do that and you drop the back knee and it looks like you're about to generate speed, you look stylish. Mm because your body language suggests that you're gonna start moving quick. Yeah. All right, so his potential for that movement's there, and I get excited when I see that. Now, people would say he's got his hands in his pocket or he's not using the arms. And yes, I agree, but you don't need to. The reason being, if, if you're freewheeling on a bicycle, you don't have to pedal. Just mm. enjoy the ride. So yep. he's basically going downhill, creating speed. He doesn't have to do anything. Okay. So, but this is the interesting part. As he gets to the bottom, okay, he raises the hand up. Oh, yeah. Okay. That straightens his back, right, which yep. allows better twisting. Right. So it doesn't look like he's doing much. Then... There's no tension in that arm. He brings it around so that his chest faces and he sees the target. So if we look at that, his body has done a 180 degree twist. Mm. Okay, so the wind up, imagine if with this particular arm, that arm over there, imagine if he was going to slap someone. <laughs> okay. Right. Think about how much he's wound up and how hard he's gonna unleash that twist to make your ear ring. Like if I had to slap you yeah, there. Yeah, right, we, we don't demonstrate the whole slapping of Anthony, Anthony around the back of the head. Okay, well, the, the big thing is, if we go back to here, all right, he has brought that hand all the way around. So it's, a lot of people make the mistake of not getting this arm out of the way. Yeah. So in, in opening up that twist, he's actually got the arm out of the way. Now, this is the really interesting thing. Wherever he lifts the front arm to, the nose of the board's gonna follow. Okay, okay, so check us out. So he lifts that arm to there. Okay, so let's point there. The nose of the board goes there. Can you see the time? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then he twists bang, the hand, front arm stops there, the nose of the board stops there. Okay, can you see the relationship? Yeah, very much so. Now, I, I know that we were saying it was hands-on, can I just, can I ask you to explain something for me? Because now, now, now that we've gone through it and coached, stop, just let go back. Well, I, I want to oh, show no. you one oh, thing okay, before sorry. you do that. All right, so, can we go full screen on ourselves? Yes, we can, we are full screen on ourselves. They, so no one can see the iPad now? Okay, good. So basically, if I drove a car and I wanted to turn that way, right, all I gotta do is drop the left hand, raise the right. And to go the other way, I drop the right hand, raise the left. If I was the aeroplane flying and I wanna to turn to the left, I drop the left. If I wanna to turn yep. to the right, I drop the right. So you can understand the principle of turning. Mm -hmm. Whatever my hands do, the body kind of follows yep. through. Okay, so go back to the hour pad. So he's taken off on the wave. All right, look at how he raises the right hand and drops the left. To turn. Okay, yeah. so, okay. so basically, it's hard to draw this, but the arms are like that. All right, then he throws the arms. Oh, oh what did I just do there? You've gone into, gone, so you, you actually went into our community then. That's quite handy. We can tell everyone about the community. Well, well I'll, I'll tell you about that at the end. Okay, uh, so there's the transition. Now look at the hand placements. There, see how he's changed? Yep. All right. And he's basically got the other arm up and down. So what that does is the shifting of the arms puts pressure on the heel, and when he swings it the other way, it puts pressure on the toe, mm -hmm. and it makes the board go rail to rail. Now, a lot of people don't use the arms correctly, and they struggle with rail to rail surfing. Yeah. So, so a quick question, quick question there, because we're right at, the, at that point. What I was looking at then, just as we went in slow motion, here we go. So as he comes round, 
the tail, it's like, you know how on a skateboard when you skid the tail out? It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like he does that with the tail of that board or is like... So at, at the last bit of the turn, he does press really hard on the big toe to release the tail. Cause look, and cause release I'm, the fins. Because I'm looking at it, but his heel is not touching the board at all. It, and you're it's, saying it's just on the toe. It's not. Look, how you have to almost dig your toe in to slide the board around. Mm. If you, if you, if his heel was on the board, he'd be turning the other way. So when you see people on their back end and they do that big, that big toe, and the tail kind of slides out, that's pretty much just the big toe pushing on it. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. I just, I just saw it and I just thought, oh, I, like, well, but, I quite like that. But what, you what, you, what you're probably not seeing is he's putting a lot of pressure on the front foot. So he's stacking his weight all over that front foot. Yeah. <clears throat> which allows then the tail to lift up a bit more, which makes it easier to release the fins. Yeah, got you. Okay, okay, a lot of people put too much pressure on the back foot and push, try to push. Yes. That's when you, you basically tear cartilages and you injure yourself when you try to force your weight against the, uh, okay. the ocean and the wave. All right. Okay, so moving on from that. Okay, really relax. That's the hands in the pocket going so, down so the go, wave. Go, going downhill again, so yeah. relaxes the arms for a moment. Then there's the open up with the arm. So Just doing well again. We call this arm over here where the arm's rotating around, kind of like passing the coffee cup. Yep. All right, so there's no tension in that. He swings it around. Now, look at that opening up. It, it's incredible. Can you see? It almost looks like a golf swing where the knee touches yeah. and he really, really opens up. Now, here's the interesting thing, and I've said this before. Wherever the front hand points, the board's going to go. So check us out. That one points about there. All right? So if I drew an arrow, it's pointing there. And that's kind of where the yeah. nose goes. All right, so if he wanted to go more vertical, he would need to lift the hand to 12. At the moment, there's vert he's lifting his hand about over there somewhere. Okay. Then the interesting thing... You're like a psychic surf coach. You know what's going to happen. See where the hand stops the front hand? The nose of the board stops. Bang. Which means if you're surfing and your hand's getting in the way, the, the board can't go past that arm. Mm. So you have to move the arm and then lift it to the point that you want to hit. Yep. Okay, so the hands play such an important role. Okay, so look here, see the toe edge over there? I don't know if you'll see this, but then it's going to transfer to heel edge around about there. Okay, so you can see the inside of the board? Yep. Now this is also interesting, watch the hand go up and over the head, boom, okay, that's his trajectory line, and I've again, the line again, all right. So he, he did quite a fast sort of hoom of the shoulders then, I noticed. Yep, and his back is straight, look, the back doesn't bend, he brings the knees up. And I, and I think that's a big mistake that a lot of intermediate surfers make. It's one that I'm notorious for. You keep on pointing it out every time we go out surfing is that I bend my chest to my knees rather than bring my knees to my chest. Yep. Now the other interesting, look how level the arms are. Back is straight, arms are level, so he's balanced. Mm -hmm. All right. He lands on the nose, which takes a lot of the impact out of the board. Mm -hmm. If you land flat, you often break your boards. Okay. By landing no fir nose first, it absorbs that impact. Now, this is his stacking leg. There, bang. So all he's balanced on that front foot. Yes. Okay. So his back foot is off the board. He doesn't even need to stand on it because it's, it's balancing on the front foot. As soon as the fins catch, even though he's standing in the wrong place, the fins rotate the board. He does nothing. He can go hands in the pocket and wait again because he's riding downhill. Okay, so straight back into that posture, he's got time. So mm. use that time well, get your recovery. And you'll watch, he'll step onto the front foot and balance again, and adjust the back foot. So that's the first time that I've seen him bring his chest down to his knees, his knees. Watch this, he takes his foot off there. I can readjust it. Readjust it, okay. And he adjusts it again. So he finds that leverage to the point where he can turn the board, mm -hmm. which is really interesting. And then this last one, again, there's no tension. He just lands this crazy air. There's no tension. He's relaxed. So I'm interested in where the hand goes on that one, because that one did go more vertical. 
swings it around. Great little last turn. That's okay. awesome. All right, so. So the big, t- the big takeaways, let me bring up full screen. Every coach's eye, we want to be able to copy someone's style or technique and almost paste it onto ourselves. Yes. So what was the big takeaway f- for you through watching Baron? Um, well, for me, it was like, again, it was really highlighting the fact that where we point that, that hand, where we point it, the board kind of goes in that direction. It's, it's like you can predict before the board's gone there, whereabouts the board's going to go. So for me, it, it, it was that. But also, the fact that he relaxes into the downhill bits yep. to then activate to come up. So that is so on point, Ant. You've got to make space and you've got to create time. So what he does, yeah. as he relaxes, he can start to look where he wants to go. Then he's, he's got this time and space to actually relax and open up the body. And then he can pinpoint exactly where he wants to turn. Yeah. So if there was one takeaway, it's stop moving your body unnecessarily to create speed and yeah. try to use the wave face to create that speed by going down nose to the beach. Yeah. Too many intermediate surfers surf mid face and they try to bounce and hop and they move too much creating that speed that mm. Baron does by going down a wave. Yeah. So I you enjoyed that. Uh, Quick quick couple of things. First of all, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe and also hit that notification bell. Also, if you haven't done so yet and you've not got the app, you kind of got a bit of a sneak preview of it just before, but let me bring it up for you. Here is our brand new community app. I've kind of positioned us in the wrong place there. But inside here, this is a community forum. This is this is our own app. There's loads of free content in there. You can get access to the paid programs. All of the coaches' eyes are in there. There's a whole bunch of extra stuff in there. This is just a really cool place for you to come and hang out. I know that you want to say something. Yes. But you can also, hang so, on, hang on a second. You can also uh, find other surfers in your area so that you can like go, go out, film each other. It's, it's just a, it's a really cool community. So head over to tombi.co, download the app, join the community. It's completely free to join. You don't have to go enroll into any of the paid courses. Obviously they are there, but there's so much value in all of the free content. What did you want to say? Use the search function. It is absolutely phenomenal. Like they don't push enough. You just type oh, in okay. pop-up. So I'm type a, in pop-up. I'm gonna type it. I know that I'm slightly in the way here, but I'm gonna type in uh, pop-up. And in the search function. Let's see what happens. What? I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even know this was a thing. Look at it's how much new. information there is on pop-ups. Wow, look at that. So Lambus drills, so there's lessons, there's all sorts. Now, obviously, I've got access to all of the, all of the paid content as well, so that some of the paid stuff will be in here as well. But there is, wow, look, there is so much stuff there. And there's more loading. Literally, basically, what we wanted to do is make sure Just on the pop- that... What? This is on this app, you get all the best information possible, um, and all you've got to do is it. just use the search function. It's that good. So it won't cost you anything. Simple. Head over to onbi.co, scroll to the bottom of the page, download the app, or you can. I think you can just search in the app store actually, and the one that you are looking for, because we we had an app before. The one that you are looking for is see the little on a the wave so the, yeah the one d- down at the bottom next to the big d it looks like a little hand wave that's the app that you want to download uh, but guys that is it for us hope you've enjoyed this what has your been your biggest takeaway leave it in the comment section below and we'll see you either here on youtube again in one of these coaches eyes or we'll see you inside the app one or the other anyway until the next video adios